With polar tracking, we touch now on snap mode or F9. So, right beside your grid mode, you have snap mode. If we are in the old normal, we shall be dwelling on this mode but uh, with our new normal or I mean with your new curriculum, more specifically your syllabus, we will just see the overview of the snap mode. So, right click the icon. The snap mode has two varieties. We have polar snap and grid snap. And when we select on snap settings, we could specify the polar spacing or the grid spacing. Notice that by default, it is set to 10 units for both X and Y directions. And this is the same with your grid spacing, which is also set at 10 by 10 grids. So, we can change this, but just leave it as is for the meantime. And then, click on the box for snap on to turn it on and just click enter and let's start line command so type l and then enter and when you move your cursor around your drawing area it is being constrained by snapping to your grid lines which is of course the same as your grid snap spacing so it's set at 10 by 10. Since we are uh, in millimeters, this is 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters spacing. However, we don't use this a lot for our 2D drafting now. So just press escape. Now, in conjunction with polar tracking, we check the effect of polar snap. And before anything else, make sure that your polar tracking is toggled on. So if everything is okay, right click again on snap mode and select on snap settings. And this time, choose polar snap. Currently, the default is set to zero. A polar distance is set to zero and that's fine. Just click enter on your keyboards. And again, then again, and again, start again a line. So type L, enter. And then click anywhere to specify the first point. Then drag it slowly towards any alignment path. And you would notice that it is snapping at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 50, or 10 unit increments. By your case, 10 millimeters. Let's uh, move to another alignment path. And it's the same. It's snapping at that particular spacing. So, when distance is set to zero for polar distance, polar snap assumes the uh, X distance of the grid snap. Now, turn off polar tracking by pressing F10. And the snap mode has no effect whatsoever. So polar snap only works when polar tracking is active or the object snap tracking is active.